Ah, uh, darn. <laughs> My eBay purchase seemed to have gotten crushed in delivery, uh, but I have faith that uh, what's on the inside here might have been small enough to actually uh, have weathered the storm, should I say. It's actually very windy outside right now, so I thought I'd catch up on doing some things that I had ordered off of eBay. This, here's some instructions right on the top. This is a used uh, uh, C do basically, that is prop driven, that I thought was very cool, a one six scale rig. Uh, and I thought I'd bring it into the studio so I could rip it around. I guess this guy has actually been selling uh, on eBay for quite some time, and I picked it up for around 400 Canadian. He even tried to put in some supports with cardboard, so that's very cool, thanks for doing that. Uh, I guess this guy's actually been selling these modified jet skis uh, for a very long time on eBay, and he had a couple of videos that I thought were pretty cool. Um, he doesn't even know I ordered one, but I thought I'd bring it in just to have a look at it, and holy cow, one six scale. This is a converted toy. Well, they're all toys, basically, even though they're models. We play with them and have fun. Um, but this is an upgraded uh, Sea-Doo from Toy Status. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> he even comes with its own one sit six scale driver. Gonna have to put a beard on this dude and a hat. <laughs> Just cut free the extra styrofoam. Looks like he did take a lot of care in packaging, so that's cool. Also around at the back. Couple of pieces of foam there. It is amazing to me. That's that's why I buy these kind of products. It is amazing to me what people and their creativity can come up with in the radio control hobby. Part of the reason why I have it on the show, even to begin with, is to show what we can do in the radio control hobby. <laughs> this actually looks pretty amazing. Let me get you in closer. Okay, here's a shot of my iPhone 7 Plus. You can see how long this is. In fact, what I'll do is even get my thrasher over here in my fishing boat, take the lid off, unplug the connector. Okay, lining it up on the back with the back jet up to the aluminum back rudder there. Looks like it might be slightly off in the camera uh, angle, but I can assure you it's pretty much true. Going to the front of the boat, knowing the length of the thrasher and seeing the distance here from tip to tip of the two boats, I'm going to have to say that this uh, jet ski, it, well not a jet ski, but I, because it has a, a prop on the back, uh, I say it's about 19 to 20 inches in length. Now width wise, it's a little bit uh, I'm going to say it's a little bit larger, but geez, it sure looks close, hey? as the thrasher, so pretty wide. A little bit of a different design, but still kind of a flat hull to help you get through the water. I've seen quite a few videos on these, uh, and they're not readily available, right? Like I had to go searching on eBay and really kind of think outside the box to see what kind of radio control hobby toys there are that have been upgraded by other people. I've done that for years, though, always having an eye out for them. The one uh, six-scale driver fits pretty good. I love the expulsion tube on the back here. This is where the water is going to shoot out in a rooster tail, I'm sure, uh, and uh, upgraded aluminum prof prop. I believe this is a Gropner pop, uh, prop. Man, am I ever having a hard time saying that today? <laughs> prop, medic, prop. A uh, Gropner prop, uh, as well as all the aluminum upgrades on the back here. And it looks like uh, he was kind enough to take it and take it apart uh, while it was in shipping so we didn't have any servo issues. And up by his foot, check it out, on and off has been mounted right there. Okay, so I'm holding the camera right now. I really kind of want to see how to get into the, oh, oh, secret, no. Oh, I should probably read the instructions he was kind enough to send here. Check it out, it's like page. Uh, okay, let me figure it out and get back to you. Took me a minute or two of figuring, didn't see it in the instruction books, but after trying to work it out, it's simply just taking this, pushing it in, and lifting up the top, which I'm having a hard time doing for you with the camera in my hand. So it looks something like this. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and then I just kind of slide it back. Let's take the driver, remove him from the seat. Aha, uh -huh. brushless setup, very, very simple. Here is the extra Gropner prop that uh, was being sold with it. And of course the antenna rod. 
You guys can get inside here. See how easy this is, hey? Some flotation uh, device at the front. Brushless motor, brushless motor with a uh, L bracket mounted on a little bit of an aluminum uh, plate underneath. Gonna take that prop shaft out and grease it first. Don't know if it's a waterproof servo, but just a few pieces of aluminum in there strengthen this up and then an ESC right on the side. So 90 amp, that'll be able to hold the 4S LiPo. Uh, I think 3S, it's just gonna basically be a ripper. But overall guys, uh, I thought it would be a very cool RC to pick up. You can see it's pretty darn easy uh, to do a mod like this and we'll be doing plenty of boating videos this season. So pretty simple got it back on in place uh, you can see the guts of this is pretty much empty uh, just a brushless motor uh, an ESC a servo a couple of aluminum plates and you can go ahead and take a toy like an entry-level kids toy that would putter around a lake or putter around the trail course add some creativity and mods and for you know relatively low money because things are getting less expensive all the time for electronics you can convert your own Tonka or your own uh, Nylant or your new bright or whatever you want and really put some guts into it uh, Depending on the model and what you want to do. It can be fairly simple It can be a little bit more intimidating when you want to do six by sixes and other things like monster trucks But regardless the opportunity for you to have fun is always there in the radio control hobby Special shout out to shirtless Bob for representing uh, something. I will never be <laughs> And uh, pretty cool on the color guys. What do you think green red blue yellow? Uh, what's your favorite color of watercraft? I'm actually really partial to this green right here. Let me know in the video comment section down below. Maybe drop a like click or a, or a subscribe if you're not following along and you won't ever have to miss out on any kind of RC adventure that we do. Uh, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. Like I say, always get outside, have some fun, be creative with the hobby of RC and maybe I'll even see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Now go outside and have fun with RC. Bye.